I started on a, a computer at first, like most people would, but instantly I knew I wanted to, to get into hardware. I bought a sequential circuits drum tracks because Prince used to use it. It's my first drum machine and I wish I still had it now because it had so much character. I went into London Modular just to check it out because my friend was going on about modulars. And the second I saw the wall full of wires and modules, I was sold. I love the technical aspect of things and really getting into it. It's kind of what pushed me towards it. You can kind of patch anything to anything and it's, it's a lot freer than just looking at a computer screen, I guess. I've got the Braids, which is my main oscillator, which is like the sound source. It's perfect for live because it's, uh, it's digital. I can just scroll through the wave shape and recall any sound I want. The Rene is great. I mean, you can store four sequences on this. So uh, I've got one at the moment, which controls my noise from the Jupiter Storm. And uh, I've got that for a delay, which is kind of just gives a bit more gated rhythm. And that's always just on the spot changing. Most of my drum sounds come from the analog rhythm, which is really powerful and great. But also I've got a kind of modular drum set up here where I've got the 909, 808 analog kicks and uh, 909 hats, 909 clap and 808 snare. They're just really nice sounding, especially in a club. I have a, an echo, which is clocked to uh, the main tempo of my track which keeps everything in time, kind of add space and extra rhythm to stuff. Then the, the other send, I use the battery acid, which is a distortion and compressor at the same time. So they, no matter how much you distort it, it's still quite tight. Now this is the case that I take out live, which is a Eastwick case I got from London Modular. And I've recently purchased the little tip top because there's some extra modules I, I wanted to bring along to live set. I kind of catch the essence of the track and then there's maybe one or two key loops that really they'll tie the track together. So no matter what I'm freestyling or doing live, I know that I can bring it into this, this solid track that I know will work. But then also I have the freedom to do whatever I want. You never know what the track's going to come out like. It's different every time, which is what I love most about the setup I've got now.